Welcome back to Selena Thinking Out Loud. And today, look what I have. I have a cavity cage. I'm so looking forward to opening this box, getting this set up for my two new guinea pigs. These are male guinea pigs. They're come, they come from a litter of five guinea pigs. And um, they were dropped off at the tractor supply. I found out you should have guinea pigs in pairs. So I wanted two males. And I didn't quite know that males like to have a lot of space. They do like to be together, but they still like to have their own territory. So I, as you can see, one is at the top here and one is at the bottom. Um, so I started with this cage and I realized after research, nope, got to go a little bit larger. So I decided to go ahead and invest in a caddy cage. This one's a five by two. So we're going to open it up, set it up today and I'm going to give you my review on it today. Let's get to it. My initial impression about packaging. Wow. Everything is organized. They have a little sleeve there telling you every part that goes with this five by two. Um, I like how everything is sealed up and packaged and, and organized. So I know how to, you know, what each part is and things like that. And I can look on the inventory sheet to make sure everything's here. In that sleeve, they give you instructions on how to assemble. Uh, if you need help on assembling any of their CNC cages, you can check out their YouTube channel. I did check out some of their videos to see if I wanted the 5x2, and it seems to be pretty straightforward on assembly. So I will be doing that if I get stuck anywhere. Uh, but you can write a review if you're pleased. And did you know? Um, that this order here, my order was prepared by disabled workers there at Kavi. That's pretty awesome that they get to serve their communities and do a good thing for all the little guinea pigs. I like that. And that's a cool sticker. Mine is going to be elevated off the ground. I'm going to put little cubbies under them for storage of their goodies and things like that. Um, this is the way they recommend we start at the bottom and work our way up. So 15 of those squares. I should have for the bottom and then these are what's gonna connectors are gonna connect they come in plastic all wrapped like this and you need um, 18 to get the base where the cubbies are gonna be started so we'll put that together a couple of things to note um, putting these on were a bit tricky at first um, you do hear it snap snap sometimes but really you just want to make sure that when it snaps it's lined up to the edge of the crease here you know it's in there and i tend to um, push down on it while it's in it like this and it just went in better and i did hear the snap so it takes some getting used to but they do actually snap in um, and you just want to make sure they're lined up um, right there in the curvature of the uh, snaps um, as you can see you start out with the H's you should have three H's with the 5 by 2 and then that fulfills that and then she says you need 10 of the grids now there is some that are not they don't look like that they actually have this part here on them so make sure you're using the actual grid ones for the base of your 5 by 2 see there's no lines in it it's just a square and also another thing little detail is the lines are going horizontal not vertical so I had to look at the video to make sure I was actually snapping it in the right way as well for that so that's some little tidbits I noticed since you're going to be doing the flat base of the cage they should be flat and you have to clamp the three that are around the H onto their latches as usual um, and make sure they're snapping. So you have one, two, three, and four of those flat. Now the other thing I had to figure out for a second is how to attach this one because it has to be faced flat this way going in. And I saw that there's some grooves, let me get another one of these, is on the side of each of the fasteners and these are the ones that you use to fasten the sides so not um, these on the inside but there's fasteners on the outside edges I have the flat part of the cage up and going um, and as you can see all of them should be vertically faced now so it should go through this this clamp here 
in here, you should lock it in, lock it in. So all three of them should be locked in here and you should have this one on the top because that's gonna connect the top of the cage as we build up. Now I'm just going around the outside edge, as you can see, and popping in a grid in the groove here, you can see there, and over here, and then they snap in just like that. And those tabs, you're just gonna make sure all of them are flat down, and they snap down pretty easy. I can say this part was really quick and easy. Time to install the core plast that's gonna go inside the bottom of the cage, and it comes in this flat uh, piece like this, and you just fold the sides in on and for this is a five by two so you have to use two of these core plasts and you make your little box just like this and you lock them in it's so quick and easy to lock them in outside in just like that and then it pops right on the other side like that and it just latches see so it doesn't and it's very sturdy material so this is really cool, you can wipe it off. Just install the loft area. It's pretty plain and simple. You use another fastener to connect two of the uh, uh, grids. And then you they provide zip ties. For the five by two, they provide zip ties. And you wanna go up seven. She said count seven from the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is where it's a good spot. So they can go under or over. You just zip tie each corner. She does recommend zip tying this one first because as you can see you're just putting one here and she does recommend putting um, that zip tie first and then going to each corner and this corner here and then the corner over here and here. I wanted to make sure that I gave them protection across the top, which will allow me easy access from the top and also easy access to the loft as well. And this side is just stable with the um, regular brackets. So there we go. It is now complete. I must say these fasteners was a doozy, but hang in there and you'll be all set and ready to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up my guinea pig <laughs> new loft and see their reaction and I'll let you guys see. Stay tuned. Here it is totally set up. As you can see, I have my bins. I didn't get the bins from Kavi. I got these from Walmart. Um, I thought, hey, um, I wanted to get neutral um, color here and so I got also these fleece from Walmart to match the one I got from Kavi here. I got this little gadget here from KT from Amazon. Got these bumblebee um, kind of hideaways from Amazon. I'll attach everything, link everything that I got in the description below. And this is where their Timothy Hay is gonna go in as well. And this one has a bowl for uh, pellets and Timothy Hay here as well. And their water is here. And so they, I gave them a lot of different hideaway spots. So they'll be able to hide in there, use the bathroom. I can just fold that up and shake it out and wash it and replace it. And then I'm up here in the loft. I just thought I would just do a hideaway as well. And I'll put one of their bowls of food up there as well. So here is how it's gonna be closed. And yeah, it's just so much cleaner. It's so much bigger for them. And now we're gonna see how they're gonna act <laughs> when we put them in here. Super excited, lots of room to hop around, and I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. 